What an awesome intro. That theme song, one of the best reasons about getting this cabinet. Better late than never. I'm doing a review on Arcade 1-Up's Killer Instinct. A couple of reasons why I decided to do this. I wasn't originally planning on doing a review on Killer Instinct. But because of slashing prices, excellent deals, and a mod that I'm going to get to in the coming weeks that I'm going to kind of get into tonight. Here's my review on RK One Up's Killer Instinct. I want to do a timestamp out of Prosperity. Today is November 28th, 2022, Cyber Monday. All right, so what's the significance about Cyber Monday? Why did I throw that in there? Because of right now on Arcade One Up's website, this cabinet is $299. Now, I don't know about the shipping and the sales tax. All I know is if we went online right now, it's $299. Other places, I think this is about $499 right now. So let's say you miss out because by the time you see this video, Cyber Monday will be, will be gone. Will there be more sales on this? Yeah, there will be. Nearing the end of the year, this is why I'm doing the review on this because we're going to see this price probably go back to a $5.99, a $6.99, but then it's going to come back down. So if you can find this cabinet between $299 and $499, you know, maybe in the middle, in my opinion, this is a buy. And I'm going to go over the reasons why I believe this is a great purchase. You can throw in the argument of the XL or the Pro line. I know it's sold out. I'm going to get to a little theory on that after this review. So let's get started on my pros, and then I'm going to jump to a couple of cons with this cabinet. I'm going to start off with the joysticks. This was the first cabinet that had the improved joysticks. They're tighter. They're a lot better. This, is, this was the first, and then, you know, MK30th, Street Fighter II Turbo, and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. People still will swap these out, but you don't have to. These are... Great joysticks. Just want to point out something everybody, we've all known this, but one of the pros, these joysticks. And while we're on the control panel, we do have the light up deck protector. Another pro. Now, this isn't something that I have lit up when I'm playing, but if you have your arcades on, you know, and just, just in the back here. In the, in the background just to have these lights going. I mean, it's a cool look. It's awesome. And, you know, you have different, different colors here to go through. And then the buttons, okay? And I'm not going to say much more about that. The buttons are the buttons. They're the same on every arcade one up. We all know that. They're not the greatest. But every cabinet has the same button. So not, nothing, nothing new here about the buttons. It's, it's the joysticks. And the light up deck protector. This is this is your your major look for this for this control panel. There was a lot of talk in the beginning that the height, the height where this control panel is, is not arcade authentic. Now, I, I got I got an argument here, but I just want to say and I'm not a tall guy, but for someone over six foot, this is about forty inches off the ground. 
This is a great height. I mean, we're, you know, we're just playing at home here. It does come with the stool. This is a very comfortable height, whether you're on the stool or if you're standing in front of it. And just, you know, to go back to the real arcade for a second, the control panels would be slanted about 36 inches from the ground. That monitor, I mean, we'd be looking, it, it, it would be kind of slanted like you're looking down on there when you'd play on an actual arcade machine. So that, the, the way that they built this, I like it. It's paired in between my Street Fighter 2 Turbo and Mortal Kombat 2. All three of these cabinets look different. And I think it's cool to have a different variety when they're lined up next to each other. Here's a look on the side view. It does have pretty cool art. Not much on the riser. But the all black look, I think they did a good job with this. We have the molded coin doors, the KI2, and the Battletoads logo underneath the Killer Instinct. Every Killer Instinct cabinet does come with the stool. And, you know, people can say what they want with the stools, whether they like them or not, whether they're comfortable. It's a stool. I mean, it's just a bonus feature. It's all right. You now I've accumulated a ton of the uh, numerous stools in this room, but I just wanted to point out that you do get a full-size stool with the Killer Instinct cap. Okay, a great feature is the online play. You have online play with Killer Instinct. Killer Instinct 2, and Battletoads. There's two bonus games. You have Battletoads 8-bit and Battletoads 16-bit. Just something extra. I don't know. Maybe it's a good uh, selling point for that uh, significant other to say, hey, you know what? It just has five games on it, even though you're only going to play three. And some people aren't really big fans of Battletoads. As you know me, I'm always up for the beat-em-up. So this was one of the reasons I wanted to pick this up. I just want to show this. Check this out. Here's the pro version. The Killer Instinct Pro is already out there. You can see that someone already has this cab. It's crazy. It's the same thing with, I have the NBA Jam, and you can see who has that, that Shaq Jam when you see the online uh, games going. So it's cool. You can always tell that. I'm sure as time goes, we'll see more pro or xl features in the online leaderboards okay and the obvious uh con here and i think everyone would agree with this is that marquee now i'm standing behind the camera right now the ki in red is a lot redder that i'm seeing in person than what is coming up on the camera along with the purple, eh, purple bluish killer instinct. Um, so, you know, the, the thing with the marquee is I know the black has that washout. You know, Terminator 2 has this too. But any marquee that has, I'm going to call this a sticker. This type of marquee, and there's a ton of cabinets that have that. They're all going to look washed out, whether they're black or not. This is a fixable thing, but I just, a lot of people have made a big deal out of this marquee. Now, again, I'm standing behind. It doesn't look as bad, but when I see this cabinet in videos I've done in the, in, in the backdrop, or when I, when I, when I did some online, uh, battle toad video of, of start to finish the marquee doesn't look good at all in person not as bad and i think i think you're going to get that from a lot of people this is fixable this is about the only con i can come up with on this cabinet if you can get this cabinet 299 399 
as much as $4.99. And I'm just going to say that $4.99 is going to be on that high scale. It's, that's, the high, that's the high range. I, I think that you're going to get a better deal under $4.99. You know, if you see it's $4.99, just wait. It's going to come back down. $2.99 is going to be tough after this arcade one up direct price. I don't know if there's going to be any other retailers, but a $3.99, maybe a $3.49, it's a great bargain. Great price for this cabinet. You got the online capability, great joysticks, a light up deck protector. And an online beat em up game, too. I mean, it's just, it's just a topper. Okay, I know I have way more pros. I, I can only give you one con here. I start off the video that, hey, here's the pros and cons. Second con I can come up with, other than the marquee, is this was the hardest cabinet to build when I went to sandwich these together. I had one heck of a time. It did come together. I don't want to complain about it. Because, as you see, it, it, it's, it's, it's built. But if there was one other thing that I can find to, com to gripe about with this cabinet was, was that. This is a great cabinet. And if you can get this for $299, $399, it's a buy. They're going to make more of the Pro Line, XL, Pro Series, Killer Instinct in the future. I know the, I know the ones that just came out are sold out. They're going to make more. I don't think we're going to see any more of these. When all, the, when all the retailers sell out their killer instincts in the next couple of months, prices are going to come down. Don't feel like, you know, you missed out on Black Friday. Like, you know, there was some fabulous deal. I mean, the, the deal on Black Friday was $4.99. Cyber Monday, it's $2.99 just on Arcade One Up site. You know, what, what, happens, what happens in a week from now, a month from now, when, when people still have these in their warehouse, they're going to come down again. I paid $4.99 for this. I think it's worth $4.99, but the price is going to be under $4.99. And just keep your eye on it. There's some mods we can do. And my advice to you is you, you pick this one up for under $500. You do some mods. And there's a video that I'm going to do very soon about giving this a, a little sharper look versus paying a thousand dollars for the pro series this is the cabinet to get this is a great cabinet you know we went over the, the joysticks the online capability the eyesore is the marquee this is fixable look for my look for my next video on how, a little improvement here on the on the arcade one-up killer instinct thanks for watching the review I'll see you guys next time.